I have to show you this video from the House of Commons. It's a video the mainstream media isn't going to show you, and they definitely won't talk about it. Now let me set it up for you. Western Feedlots, one of Canada's largest cattle feeder operations, just announced that it's closing its doors after 60 years. The company has three locations across southern Alberta and now 85 people are losing their jobs and Alberta farmers are losing a buyer who had capacity to finish off 100,000 head of cattle. And the company CEO blamed Rachel Notley's carbon tax. So Jason Kenney, who is running for PC leader but who also is an MP in Calgary, raised the issue in the House of Commons as proof that the federal government should not proceed with a carbon tax of their own. Now you are not going to believe the response from Prime Minister Trudeau and the rest of the Liberal caucus. Just watch this. Yesterday brought yet more job losses for Albertans. Dozens losing their jobs at Western Feedlots with its closure a key part of the Western beef industry. Company President Dave Platt says that recent government policies like Bill 6 and the carbon tax contributed to the decision to close their operation. So with yet more proof that carbon taxes kill jobs, will this government please reconsider its ideological determination to impose a job-killing carbon tax oh. on Alberta? Oh. Prime Minister. Take this opportunity to remind the member opposite that he is actually still in Ottawa and not in Alberta yet. So Trudeau, instead of expressing regret that this Alberta company has to close its doors after six decades, instead of being compassionate for the 85 Albertans that will lose their jobs, Trudeau used this opportunity to make fun of Jason Kenney and to be dismissive about the very real jobs being lost here every day in Alberta. And the rest of the goons in the Liberal caucus cheered him on. They cheered on Justin Trudeau and his display of contempt for these Albertans. Every last one of them in that caucus cheered on that disgraceful, dismissive, heartless comment. Maybe Trudeau would care about those 85 people if they were Ontario auto workers, but they're from Alberta and they're farm workers, so they don't count to the Laurentian elites. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunreed. Are you worried about the devastating effects of Rachel Notley's carbon tax? You can read about Rachel Notley's carbon tax and so many, many more of her job killing policies in my best selling book, The Destroyers. Click the link below to download your copy.